Hello guys, today I want to show you one trick how to use sequences in factories in Laravel to make your code a bit more elegant. So for example, this example by the way comes from my latest course about testing in Laravel and how to use factories around that. So you can check that out, the link will be in the description below. But anyway, in the setup of the test, for example, you create two variables, user and admin, which you would use later in the tests, like acting as this user or this admin to check the roles. What if I told you that these two sentences can be combined in one? Because it's actually reusing the same thing, user factory create, just overriding one specific variable. For that, you can use sequences and then assign the result of the sequence to specific values. Let me show you. User factory create. So you need two records and then you put them into sequence overriding some values. So sequence is actually for overriding some values if you want to. And we need to override values of two records. So I copy this, paste, comma, another one, like this. This is the syntax. So we're overriding the first one with this, overriding the second one with this. And you can find a similar example in the official Laravel documentation about sequences in database testing, something like this, just with a bit longer syntax of creating new sequence. There is a shorter syntax like this, but that's not all. In here, in the official Laravel example, the result is assigned to users. But what if we want separate variables like this? We can use array syntax like this. So this user, comma, this admin, like this. So the result of those would be a collection of two items, and that collection would be kind of extracted into two items like this, this user and this admin. So if we comment that out and try to launch the test and see if I didn't break anything, PHP Artisan test, no errors, 18 tests passed, everything seems to be good including some tests about admin or non-admin features. So yeah, two things from this lesson is how to use sequence and also how to use array syntax to assign the values like this to local variables. Again, if you want to learn more about testing and about that full sequence, the link to the full course about that will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.